Hello guys, this family man, your right hand man. One love to my family members out there. This tutorial is on how you can use Audacity to record your voice, edit it, and add some effect that will make it sound better. I have been in the studio world for several years, and I tell you there are many more things you can do with this application called other city if you have this application in your computer if you open it look at how the interface look like but if you don't have it in your computer you can look at my video description below to see the website address that you can paste on your browser and it will bring you to this website which you, where you will download the application you can as well go to google and type other city the first link that appear click on it and it will bring you to the website where you will download the application after downloading and installing when you open it and look at how it look like and at the top here we have the file the did the select button and when you open it there are many commands of which we will not theoretically discuss them now but we will know how they operate or how they work in the process of this recording and when you plug in your microphone the first thing you have to know is that there are some things here that you may like to change or or uh, that you may like to touch or change here we have the speakers uh, you can select the type of speaker you want here we have the stereo and mono recording channel uh, you have to select the type of recording channel you want preferably you should select the stereo recording channel because it can play on many speakers on two more than one speaker while the mono recording channel only play on one speaker then we have the microphone here you can select the type of microphone here we have some familiar button like the play button the pause button the uh, the stop button the next button and we have the red button up here of which if you play it it will start recording we also have some tools here which uh, we know how they work uh, in the process of the recording okay let's assume we are set let me click on the uh, start recording button to my ladies out there, the young girls, the single mamas, my baby mamas, God made you sweet and beautiful. Me love you all. Mwah. Okay, we have succeeded in recording something. Let's know. Uh, let's play and see what we have recorded. To my ladies out there, the young girls, the single mamas, my baby mamas. God made you sweet and beautiful. Me love you all. Mwah. Okay, that is what we have recorded. Um, before we go on to see uh, the uses of all these tools, at the beginning of this track, we have the close button here. Once you click on the close button, the track is uh, have been closed. Then we have the mood button. If you click on this mood button, you have moved the track. Even if you play it, there is no sound. Let's play it and see as I click the as I have clicked the mood button. You see, it is playing, but there is no sound. Okay, let me unmute it and. At the top here, we have some tool. This one that look like I ah, is called the selection tool. When you click on it, you can use it to select some portion of the track. And we have some one, another one here called the time shift. The time shift tool. When you click on it, you can use it to move the track up and down. And this is very useful when you have multiple track and you want to mix them. So you will use this time shift button to be moving them here and there we have the draw button uh, the draw tool which is not all that uh, useful now and here we have there's something here called the uh, monitoring tool it monitors uh, how the performance of your microphone if you want to know whether your microphone is high too high or extremely high you click on this monitoring tool you see it has the green portion the green portion shows that uh, the microphone is uh, the volume of the microphone is normal while when it reached to this yellow portion it is high and the red portion shows that it is very high and that's also how the speakers monitoring tool work and here we have uh, where you can increase the volume of your 
microphone where you can increase the and reduce the volume of your speaker this is it here and we have the zoom in, zoom out and the zoom in button if you want to magnify your track to see it very well you can use the zoom in and zoom out button then we have here we have some there's something here playback speed you can actually increase the the speed of your track here let's increase it and see what will happen so that is it you see how the speed has actually increased we increase the the, the speed of the track and we see how it actually sound so um that is it for the tools you can use and record your voice and we can add some effect to this voice the first effect i want us to add is the bass and the treble let now let me select some portion of the track using this selection uh tool now let me add the best effect let me go to effect the bass and treble you see it you see the default bass here and we can draw this button up to to add the bass and we will click on start playback to see what how it will sound the, the young boys, the so if you listen to this track very well you know that the bass has actually uh increased so there is another thing there uh the fading fade out uh, uh effect let's add the fading fade out effect to see how the track will sound now let's set select the beginning of the track some of the portion in the beginning of the track to add the fading effect and let's select some portion at the end of the track to add the fade out effect now let's play it and see what we have done so my ladies out there the young girls the single mamas my baby mamas god made you sweet and beautiful we love you all okay the fade in and fade out uh, uh, effect was added successfully and the track sound uh, more beautiful more appreciative so that is it that is how you can record your voice using this audacity uh, now after you might have recorded all these things and there are two things you can do you can save it as a project that is if you want to edit it later and you can export this uh, export it as mp3 mp3 file that is you want to be playing it as a music so that is it thanks for watching don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy this video say we are family say it very loud we are family thanks for watching